The Philippine Coast Guard is upping its game at sea again. In a major announcement, the PCG officially opened public bidding for a new 60-meter multi-role response vessel, the Mararvi, a project worth 2.47 billion pesos or approximately 42 million US dollars. But this isn't just any vessel. It's a strategic move, part of the Philippines' broader effort to strengthen maritime transportation rescue operations, and national security. So, what does this move mean for the future of the PCG? And who are the potential shipbuilders vying to deliver this next-generation response vessel? Let's dive deeper. Pursuant to the Government Procurement Reform Act, the Philippine Coast Guard is now inviting companies from around the world to bid for this 60-meter MRRV. The vessel will strengthen its maritime transportation and response operations, from humanitarian and disaster relief missions, search and rescue, to maritime law enforcement and anti-smuggling. The winning bidder will have 730 days, or approximately two years, to complete and deliver the vessel. This means that if all goes according to plan, by 2027, the Peace G will be sailing with a brand new, state-of-the-art response vessel. With over 7,600 islands, the Philippines needs a formidable maritime guardian. Furthermore, with tensions rising in the West Philippine Sea, the need for a larger, more versatile vessel is becoming increasingly urgent. This vessel will fill the gap between the smaller Parola class, 44 meters, and the much larger Teresa Magbanua class, 97 meters. The result? More flexibility, longer stays at sea, and the ability to conduct missions for days far from shore. Essentially, this 60-meter MRRV will be a multi-role workhorse, capable of transporting humanitarian aid, enforcing maritime law, and protecting the environment across the archipelago. Interestingly, the tender specifically seeks companies that also have expertise in research vessels and multi-purpose ship services. This signals that the Peace G wants a modular, flexible design for a variety of missions, not just routine patrols. We can expect features such as a large working deck or helideck for air operations, cranes and davits for small boats or search and rescue equipment, high-speed rigid hull inflatable boats, ribs, and modular space for mission containers, like modern multi-role vessels in Europe and Japan. With a budget of 2.47 billion pesos, the vessel is also expected to carry advanced navigation systems and surveillance radars, and possibly C4 ISR capabilities for better coordination with the Philippine Navy and Air Force. So, who are the strong candidates? Small Blue Diamond Japan, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, MHI. As a long-standing PCG partner, Japan has built the Parola class, 44M, and Teresa Magbanua class, 97M, through the JITSA assistance program. If MHI bids, we can expect an efficient, reliable, and field-proven design. 
Small Blue Diamond South Korea, Hyundai Heavy Industries, HHI. Korea is now a strong maritime industry partner for the Philippines. Their 60-meter design could feature modern automation, a high-speed hull, and a smart digital platform similar to the 500-ton HHI patrol vessels used in other countries. Small Blue Diamond France OCA Shipbuilding the builder of the BRP Gabriella Silang OPV 8301 could be a strong contender. The aluminum design is lightweight, fast, fuel-efficient, and requires low maintenance, ideal for long-distance operations. Small Blue Diamond Philippine local shipyards, PropMech and Josefa Slipway in line with the Self-Reliant Defense Posture SRDP. Local shipbuilders can partner with foreign companies to build ships in the Philippines, boosting the nation's maritime industry self-sufficiency and creating new jobs. More than just technology, this 60-meter vessel is a symbol of strategic presence. Each additional vessel means expanded patrol coverage, faster disaster response, and stronger deterrence against smuggling, illegal fishing, and foreign infiltration. In short, this is a force multiplier for the PCG. It's proof that the Philippine Coast Guard is evolving into a modern maritime force, on par with regional partners like Japan, Korea, and Australia. This 60-meter, multi-role response vessel project, valued at P2.47 billion, is not just another procurement. It is a statement of intent. The Philippines is investing in protecting its maritime security, resilience, and sovereignty. This 60-meter, multi-role response vessel project, valued at 2.47 billion pesos, is no ordinary procurement. It's a statement of intent. The Philippines is investing in protecting its maritime security, resilience, and sovereignty. And now all eyes are on this tender. The question is, who will rise to the challenge of building the next generation of Coast Guard vessels for the Philippines? What do you think? Which country or shipbuilder is most deserving of the win? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated on the latest developments in Philippine military and maritime modernization. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.